nearly a dozen mailboxes destroyed. There they are, right there. After vandals lit them on fire, ransacking a south side neighborhood for hours overnight. Wish TV's Jenny Dreisler, she was at it again as she spoke to neighbors near Emerson and Stop 11 who shared surveillance video you'll only see right here on News 8. Some vandals that have no respect for really anything just decided to torch it on a Saturday night. Tom Wagner was still in disbelief as he showed me what two vandals did to the Heathwood neighborhood's little free library. Just frustrating. Wagner says the library he built from century old Barnwood was torched early Sunday morning. The once popular neighborhood spot with more than 50 books now reduced to ashes. How do you get someone more than likely a kid wired this way to where they think this is fun? I don't know. It's something's wrong there. And the vandals didn't stop there. It's actually where they started. Wagner says whoever did this took books from the library to light about eight mailboxes in the area on fire. The senseless burnings have left the usually quiet neighborhood terrified. We had um, one of my daughter's friends spent the night and I just thought how scary was it that someone was right in front of our yard setting the mailbox on fire. You know, that could have spread easily. A neighbor who wished to remain anonymous showed News 8 this surveillance video that appears to show two male suspects lighting a mailbox on fire, running away, and then walking back to the mailbox as it continues to burn. The video shows the two individuals ransacking the neighborhood from midnight until about 3 a.m. And with the damage done, Wagner says he plans to rebuild the library, but fears whoever is behind this will burn again. Maybe that's the more the risk, the more the thrill, who knows? But, you know, my biggest worry is next time around, they're going to want to build the thrill. So what are they going to burn down next time if they get away with it? Once again, that was Jenny Dreisler reporting. Now